hope the key card we got from Major General Fubuki gets us through. Are we inside Arahabaki? This feels different than the place we visited on that field trip. I don't recognize it at all. It's installed below Suo. It goes down pretty far, but only the upper levels are open to the public. I believe this is the secure site where they control it. Fubuki was only allowed restricted access, so we don't know much. We should be able to access it from somewhere around here. It doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious around. But I do see that it's softly big in there. Got it. Tell me when you see something. First, let's look for an access terminal. Kaito wouldn't even listen to us about stopping the war with Seiran. It seemed like he stopped listening as soon as he heard Togetsu was involved. He was shocked. He didn't think you'd turn against him. Yeah. I was surprised too. But I'm glad I said what I wanted to. You didn't have many opportunities to speak frankly with the chief? <laughs> Not at all. We've never been close. My brother has always followed in our father's footsteps. Unlike me. I think my brother just did what he thought was right. I still can't forgive him though. Just because you're brothers doesn't necessarily mean you understand each other. There was a lot I didn't get about my brother. Former Major General Karin seems like he's a bigger problem than my brother. <laughs> Us younger brothers have it hard. <laughs> we do. Something's coming at 10 o'clock. Is that... another? What? People use this place. What's an other doing here? I see it too. Did someone realize you were there and lure it in? Maybe... No, there's no point thinking about that. We just have to be careful. The connection is bad inside Ara Habaki. It might take time for me to receive the video data. Understood. Go as fast as you can. It's a dead end. We might be able to make a path if we lower the bridge. But that bridge is up. Hmm. That means it's Yuito's time to shine. Everyone, get back! Okay, that worked. We can move forward now. There's no way there should be others inside our hobby, right? No, they shouldn't be in a sealed area like this. Maybe some...
Thanks, Luca. I need support. doing on the video data, Watru? The data's ready, but the connection is so bad it's taking time to send. It'll be a little longer.
if it moved in the direction we wanted to go in. It's so frustrating that it's not. Yes, it is frustrating. Although, it does appear that running on it would be a good workout. Well. The lasers are too fast. Maybe we should find a different route. It's too early to give up. There is a way you can move faster than the lasers, remember? Luca's power!
Use it well. We won't be able to move forward if we use my power, Yuito. My pleasure.
My pleasure. Yeah! <laughs> 
and sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Use it well. It's down. Give it everything. Yes. My pleasure. My pleasure.
Use it well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that the Arahabaki access terminal? Yuito, did you... Image... Set... Wataru? Signal... Bad... So... They might have blocked outside signals to prevent any interference. Is the video file... alright? 
We've come all this way and now no signal? Oh, you've got to be joking. There. Got it. Nice. Looks like it just came through. Now we just need to connect to Arahabaki and send. Looks like another seated terminal. Should I use the access terminal? No. Let me do it. All right. But be careful. Looks like you connected fine. It looks just like the OSF system. I should be able to upload the video data. Now to send this to the minds of every citizen. Arahabaki can forcibly access and broadcast to all citizens at once. Now this data, the truth, will be seen by everyone. Man, woman, young and old alike. We don't know how everyone will react to it. We should expect the truth will probably hurt a lot of people. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure there will be people angry that I told them something they didn't want to know. Still, I want to ask everyone how they feel after knowing the truth. Dad. Kaito. I'm sorry, but this is the path I choose. to Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. I wonder if it worked. It doesn't look like any data was sent to us. Signals are blocked here. Oh, right. The display says it's sending, though. If every new Himuka citizen is seeing this, I'm sure there's a big fuss out there. I'm sure the government is in chaos, too. They'll probably try to protect themselves first. There's likely a lot of disturbance among the soldiers as well. Fighting Seiron must seem pointless now. If the fighting between New Himuka and Seiron stops, that's one hurdle cleared. This video is a catalyst. I can't imagine how New Himuka will change. Our next task at hand is to figure out how to stop Togetsu. Let's assess the situation and then make our next plan. I think we should go outside first. Right. Others might show up too. Let's get out of here. Don't move a muscle. You wait home! Get out of my way. Major General? Karin, why are you here? Are you still trying to copy Yuito's power? Your surprise attack didn't work. You don't have much of a chance. I could reduce you all to ash in an instant if I wanted to. If what you need is Yuito's power, then you can't damage his brain. So what? Maybe I'll crush his limbs one by one. Yuito. Give me your power if you want to remain whole. Why are you after my power? I don't need to explain myself to you. He can't be after my psychokinesis. He must know my real power. You came all this way just to take it. You must be up to something. As long as you don't tell me what that is, I'll have to fight you. You're wasting my time. You'll regret not obeying me immediately. Don't waste my time. Fighting Karin is reckless. Yeah, I'm scared. But we have to protect Yuito. Get back, Luca. If you don't, you'll be eliminated. Oh, 
Powers he can use is incredible. You're more tenacious than I thought. I've been around a little. I'm used to fighting now. It's true that you can use many powers, Karin, but you only have one brain. You won't be able to keep up against so many. Things will not go your way for long. Just stop this. I don't want to fight anymore. Who do you think you are? You haven't won yet. Choose your words carefully. <laughs> There's no way that you can defeat me. This place is my domain. What? Am I being invaded? What's going on? My body... Uh, I can't use my power. This cable... Uh, did it come from Arahabaki? Looks like I'm in. Karin... What are you doing? My head... What is this? I feel like... I know this. It's just like when my power... resonated with Kasane's at the Kunat Highway. Yuito! What's wrong? Has his brain been eaten away? To the point where he can't talk? Is Arahabaki controlling me? I can feel someone, but who is it? My power is activating on its own. Damn, this isn't good. I can't stop it. Could this possibly be what he's after? All right. Let's try this again. Alice.
He's gone. He must have teleported. No, that was... He came here to travel through time. Yuito, are you okay? What is this place? I... Uh, what was I doing? What's going on? Wait! Don't disappear! No! Stop! Why are you disappearing? I don't want to forget! They're all... Who are you? Hello? Hold on. Who... am I? I don't... <sighs> I don't remember. What is... this? I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You have to live. No matter what. You, 
Kaito. I remember. I remember her smile. It's a memory that brings me such comfort. I'm so glad to have it back. What was all that just now? A dream? Must have been. Hanabi? <sighs> Yuito. Welcome back. <clears throat> Kasane? And everyone. Why are you here? Are you okay? Do you have a headache or feel nauseous? I think I'm fine. What happened? Do you remember being attacked by my brother? Yeah. Then Arahabaki invaded my mind, and I was forced to use my power. What happened after that? There was a large earthquake, and my brother disappeared at the same time you collapsed. You were holding your head and looked like you were in a lot of pain. We didn't know what to do. Then Kasane Platoon got here. It was really bad when we got here. Sugumi was white as a ghost, and Hanabi was holding you and crying. Gemma and Luca both looked so pale. We were afraid you might have died. So that's what happened. But why did you come here? Karin copied my power, then went teleporting after you. It looks to me like you needed both of our powers. Our powers? The red strings? Yes. I didn't know what he was after, but I knew I had to warn you. We couldn't send signals into Arahabaki, so we came running. Wataru helped us too. You had almost lost your mind and your memory. You were in a lot of danger. I had a dream that I was slowly disappearing. I guess it was real. But then Kasane had an idea. She thought she could use our memories to reconstruct yours. Reconstruct? We tried to form you from memories we shared when connected by the SAS, and experiences we had together. We all connected our SAS cables, and sent our memories into you, as data. Memories change based on whose they are. Mixing together multiple people's memories was as dangerous as personality rehabilitation. It was honestly a gamble, but thanks to everyone working together, you miraculously woke up. I'm glad you're back. So, I could have lost everything. Which means, the memories I have now are the connections you made for me. Thanks. Your head really doesn't hurt? Is there anything you can't remember? I have my memories, and my body feels fine. If you have your memories, does that mean you have old memories as well? Even memories from before meeting us? What? Yeah, I do. Although, it's kind of strange that I'd have old memories if they all had to come from you guys. So, does that mean we were able to restore the memories beyond our own? Or is it simply luck that they weren't erased? Wait. When we all connected through the SAS, it felt like there was a transmission from an external server. Were you storing your past memories on one? No. Why would I do that? What do you even mean? I see. 
And what was that? I have a feeling it was something to do with Yuito's restored old memories. It doesn't make sense that he has all his old memories back if all we did was give him ours. There is a lot to think about, but I believe it's time we leave. It's dangerous to stay here. You're right. Can you move, Yuito? Yeah, I'm okay. Kasane, you're all coming too? Yes. We have no business with our Habaki. I'm glad you're okay. Now let's get out of here. from our former allies, but I think I feel the same. Thanks for repairing my memory, everyone. It was pretty close. Your body was getting cold. And I'll be using her body to eat you. Oh, um, no. I mean, does your head hurt you, Ito? It's fine. Why are you so flustered? Unverified information, my ass! You can't trick us anymore! Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us! Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. Nagi's not here. Maybe the National Defense Forces took him. I'll have Wataru check later. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived. The rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe. And... Major General! Are you okay? 
Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. He needs to rest, so let's go to my platoon's hideout for now. So this is where your hideout is. It looks like the same type of unit as our hideout. The make is identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. Oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. We're a much bigger group now. We'll just have to share the hideout with each other. Are you talking about me? You don't have to be so nasty. I'll clean up. I wasn't trying to be mean. I guess I have to deal with this all the time now. You don't like me, do you, Sheena? You still saved me, though. Thanks. You know, just because I saved you doesn't mean I think you're any good. I don't exactly hate you, though. You're so full of it. We're all working together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. Sharing our knowledge is what saved you, Ito. Thanks, Luca. I should be thanking you. We needed everyone there to keep Yuito alive. I think you all did wonderfully. Good. You're strange. Huh? What is? Your existence. At first, you seem like someone trivial. Someone who would be neither useful nor harmful. But you're just a good person. A quality I've learned to not dislike. I'm a little curious about you. What? I see. Um, thanks? Um, do you think we can talk for a minute, Kasane? Sure. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of miss that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. 
You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh. Actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. All right. I accept your thanks. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me, every time right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know and... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was, he's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... she really liked you. Oh. I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. Kasane and I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think. Hey, I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Well, at least that's how I interpreted it. Oh. That's good then. Words are complicated. Thank you for taking mine at face value. I think 
think I understand you a little better now. Really? I'm happy to hear you say that. Oh, Yuito. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Did something happen? You look serious. I got a message from my uncle. You mean the OSF hospital's chairman? Can you tell me what it was about? Yeah, but be ready. You won't like it. He said, It seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently, but you don't need to get involved. If you consider yourself a part of the Ichijo family, then keep your mouth shut. He's clearly threatening you. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. We managed to expose so much to the public, but the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Are you sure, though? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand proudly as a member of the OSF. Then let's think together on how we can go after the chairman's crimes. We basically need to find irrefutable evidence that my uncle and the others were connected to that research. Yeah, but that data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together then. anyone here. Was it closed off? It seems like the others have been left alone. If there's any evidence left, we'll it'd have to be in the basement. Let's be careful. You can't see it, but the other is still around. Use SAS to find it. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Worry about that later. We need to save her first. You're right. Let's hurry. <laughs> Damn it! There's too many of them. Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire around her to keep the others away? If I do that, the woman would get burned too. Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure. But my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something... Watch out! 
Do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Fire, do what I say! <sighs> Great job. Keep it up. Now I can take care of these guys. Did, did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Th thank you. I thought I was dead. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. Come on! You sprayed something like poison. Don't get it on you. Yeah! 
That's all of them. Yeah. Thank goodness you came up with that fire idea. Sorry I put you on the spot, but I couldn't have protected her without you. Oh, right. Where's the woman we saved? Um, first, let me thank you for saving me. Please. We only did our jobs as members of the OSF. So you're with the OSF like I thought. Why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? No, we mean you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumaragi, the traitor? I guess that means you're not with the government. Okay, I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes, I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we're here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher-ups won't be able to make excuses. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers, to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you. I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first, but I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Yes, thank you. You look relieved. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh, but maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. I thought my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies, but now I see I can use it to protect someone too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out, so I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout.
You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very You look like Chief Kaito. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the Chief anyway. Better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? 